Yo, 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 what's up everybody? It's your boy Bo here from Truth and Facts. Okay, so big news. Top Rank inked the deal with ESPN. And uh, they may even have some fights on ABC, but for right now, they're going to have eight shows on ESPN. And part of that, the fighters that they plan on uh, having on the ESPN channel is going to be Manny Pacquiao. Uh, the Manny Pacquiao-Jeff Horn fight is going to be on ESPN. Then, of course, you got Terrence Crawford. And then Lomachenko. I'm for anything that helps push boxing and promotes boxing. I am. Anything that helps promote boxing, push boxing, get it out there so more of these dudes can get their shine, so more of these dudes can get noticed and recognized, right? I'm for anything like that. I, I am. So I am happy this is happening, okay? Just, I was just like I was for PBC, just like I was for De La Hoya. I'm happy that it's happening. My only issue in that same article, it was, it was the Forbes article, and I'll post the link up, and it is in that same article, they're saying people should really get behind this and really hope this succeed. That was not the case when it was PBC. That was never the talk when it was PBC. Okay? And I know some people are going to feel differently. <laughs> I've listened to the Dan Raphaels. I've listened to... That was never the case when it came to PBC. You know? That was never the case. And that's that double standard in boxing that I told you guys. I understand that that's going to be there. Doesn't mean I like it. It just knows that I understand it. But yeah, I like this. Uh, not surprised that Jeff Horn and Pacquiao is going to be on there, but here's the reality, though. The type of fights that they're going to have to put on, because I hear people already saying, oh, man, you know, they're going to put on quality fights. I, I, no, no. Here's the thing that people got to understand. They don't have enough big-name stars to, to put as many fights as you guys think that they're going to be able to put on ESPN and ABC without working with either, without working with both Heyman and working with uh, Golden Boy. So if there's a time where all the net that all these guys need to get together, this is this is it right here. This is the opportunity for all of them to get together right now. Get together, make some fights. Terrence Crawford, two highest uh, numbers for views on HBO was with John Molina and Felix Diaz. Both of them were PBC guys. Okay? Outside of Floyd Mayweather, um, you know, Hugh had a fight with Amir Khan. Canelo had a fight with Amir Khan and Chavez, which did good on pay-per-view numbers. Both guys were PBC guys. You know what I'm saying? So there's a recipe there for you guys to work together and make something great happen. Now, props to Al Heyman, uh, Bob Aaron because he did. He does give Al Heyman credit saying, listen, Al Heyman, what he did, okay, may not have worked in, 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 a, in a big uh, mass of the whole scope of things, but it did take it to the next level to where we know what to do differently than what Al Heyman did that, you know, may have added to some of the demise of them losing, uh, you know, a, a quite, quite a bit amount of money. Okay, and that seems to be the notion. But my, my, my thing is, this can only be successful is all our work together. Same thing with Al Heyman. Okay, and I get it. We want to see the competitive fights. They're going to be on ESPN. But Manny Pacquiao fighting Jeff Horn, you're going to need a little bit more than that if you're telling me competitive. What happens after Jeff Horn? He's going to have to fight the Spencers. He's going to have to fight the Thurmans. He's going to have to fight these guys. Okay? You know, Lomachenko, uh, uh, Ter Terrence Crawford and Ndungo, great fight. Lomachenko and Lano Salido, good rematch grudge fight that's finally going to happen. It's going to be on ESPN. But going forward, though, if Lomachenko is talking about, what, going up to 135, well, you're going to have to fight the Mikey Garcias. You're going to have to fight the Robert Easton Juniors. You see what I'm saying? So... <laughs> You're going to have to work with these guys over here to make this, you know, make this really blow up the way it's going to blow up. I'm not surprised by this move by Top Rank because HBO has made it perfectly clear. They're not like ex extraordinarily eager to make fights anymore or go along with fights. They've made that very clear. So I'm not surprised by this move. And if you guys remember in the part of the settlement that uh, went down with Al Heyman and Top Rank was that they had to remove the exclusive, the, that is that exclusive rights that they had on these networks, okay? Now, did PBC make mistakes? Yes, they did. They had too many networks. They were paying for airtime, right? And they had too many networks, okay? But it still provided a blueprint for something to be successful because they also did have good fights that had great numbers. And, you know, uh, we, we, we got to at least see, uh, like, we got to see Porky Medina. We saw... We saw Porky Medina take on David Benavidez. We, we got to see David Benavidez turn that corner when he fought Porky Medina. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the guys like Jane McAllister. We got to see, you know, just good fights, good upset fights from guys who weren't top stars 
you know, and we got to see them, and now we know who they are. We know who the Robert Easton Juniors are. We know who the Shamanovs are. We know who the, you know what I'm saying? We got to see more of Rance Bartholomew, you know, like I said, David Benavidez. So it's, right now, the 2017 has a chance to really bring boxing back, and I think, I hope this is the time where we stop all that negativity talk and that double standardness and move forward with this, make all these guys work together and create something special. But, you know, hey, like I said, shout out, top rank. They did it, man. They, they got their contract, and I think this could be something good. So let's see what happens.